Today we're out here with Tyrone, who has a very interesting bike for us that we're going to borrow. We're going to go for a little vlog on this. Tyrone, tell me a little bit about this. So this is a bike <coughs> called the Zion CyberX bike. Uh -huh. It's made in California by a company called Zion Bike. Um, they make pedicabs. And so, you know, most pedicabs are basically one big uh, e-bike these days. That's one of those three-wheeled bikes yeah, that, yeah. okay, yeah, you so see those they, all over so Austin. They, so, yeah, so they got into making the, um, the Zion bike, and I was number 50. Um, it, it, it can come with, like, LED panels, but I didn't want LED panels, so I just got the, the um, <coughs> metal panels. Uh -huh. And it, it has, a, has a range of 100 miles if you ride it in Class 2 or Class 3, 28, you know, 100. 20 miles an hour, 28 miles an hour. That's impressive. And apparently, they say that if you ride it at the max speed of 50 miles an hour, it has a max max range of 50 miles. But I don't, I'm not confident that it does that. No. Maybe it has a range of maybe like 30 miles. Uh, you know, it has a blue, it comes with a built-in uh, Bluetooth speaker. Um, I had to, because I bought the small frame, um, I came with a 14 inch wheels and um, which I had to install and uh, I had to get a friend of mine to lower the forks so it's rideable for me. But So you asked for a small version and they gave you the normal version? Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what happened, I think. That's what so they, they ended up sending me 14 inch wheels, which I think that's common on some Surons. Uh -huh. um, and um, so I had that installed and uh, they and I was able to lower the forks, so so, it, so it's nearly the, the the seat isn't completely straight, but it's at a slight angle. But um, if I wasn't injured, I could I can just about ride it because like I'm about five five. Tyrone had a bit of a one wheel accident. Yeah, I did. A so he won't be riding for a while. And, uh, I had surgery on Monday, so. How would you rate the customer service over here at Zion? They're pretty good. I mean, um, I mean, it's a startup company uh -huh. you know, making the first batch of bikes. They had a, like everything. They had a lot of issues with the supply, you know, with COVID. Uh -huh. um, the bike did take a while to uh, make, and while waiting for this bike to come, to come. Two years, you said. <laughs> I ended up buying a Super Seventy Three. I originally sold my uh, Hyper Hyper Scorpion when I saw this bike. Because I think everyone is like looking for the next Onyx, you know? Yeah. Like when the Onyx first came out, I think you could get it for like 2000 2300 if yeah, you so got the like Kickstarter nice. I think price. It was about 3000 I think altogether I probably spent like just under four. But it now, this bike now retails for like uh, around about 6000 for the base model with yeah. the base battery and the controller. Um, I had some upgrades to it, like the, I have a back 4000 controller and I have, an ex and I have more, um, more powerful batteries. So I think if you were to buy it on the website, this bike would be worth around about 7000 Jesus. Yeah. But it'd be good. I mean, if it did 100 miles for, if it did 50 miles at 50 miles an hour, it'd definitely be worth it. But I don't think it, I don't think it does that. Can I be completely honest with you? Yeah. This thing looks ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like somebody took a picture of an Onyx and they put it into some AI software and they said dirt bike. Make me a dirt bike. And then it just a triangle came out. I feel like you could fit three people on that seat. You could fit a village on that seat. It is quite a long seat. And it used to be hub drive and they decided let's do mid drive I guess, huh? No, it's always been mid-drive, and it has a belt. Well, I mean, like, the uh, I meant the prototype, I think, was mid-drive, or was uh, hub-drive, I, I thought. I, yeah, I, I don't know, but yeah, it, it is hub-drive. But the pedals, there is no pedal assist mode in this thing. You can't, no? You They're compliance pedals, like the Onyx? Yeah, kind of. Well, feels nice. Uh, you got two keys here. What are the What are the two keys oh, for? Oh, that's for the battery. That's to turn the battery on? No, no, I mean... Or to, to, oh, the, the, to open see, the battery so you can, case. So you, can, you, you can't really take the battery out. It's too heavy. Uh, Do you know the battery specs? I'm not sure. It's 72 volt? Yeah. 
You just don't know the amp hours? Well, right now it says up to 80. Um, is it, um, it should be, it should say, is it turned on? No. It says 84. I think or maybe it was on. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I just turned it so well. Wow, I see lots of buttons. I'm quite the button pusher, so I like seeing lots of buttons. So there's five levels of assist. Uh, there's one, zero doesn't do anything. Uh, I think one, let, mode one, it go up to like 35 miles an hour, and it goes all the way up to mode five, which... And this is how you change the modes? Yeah. Okay, put that right to five. <laughs> <laughs> Can you reset my trip, too? Uh, or no? No, I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. What is this? Bluetooth calling and stuff? Yeah. And then, is the Bluetooth speaker standard, or is that yeah, something yeah, you add? Yeah, it's standard, yeah. And does the USB work? Have you tried charging a phone? Okay, because sometimes does, they just have does, a USB it and it doesn't. Come with a, um, a phone holder, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know, good. For, I have an iPhone 12 Mini that fits on it perfectly. Was this headlights? Yeah. Oh, what do you, know what you have no idea what that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> must be. Yeah. Must be. Crazy headlights up there. Yeah, that's three bar. Three light bars. I think the standard it comes with a, um, the oval light. Like like you see on all the, on Onyx, but mm -hmm. I like this. I like the this um, better. Oh, there's lights. Yeah. <coughs> so you're gonna take it out for a little test run? Yeah, I'll go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go easy on it. I'll just uh, ride it around. Maybe hit the hit the bar for an old pint. Yeah, in uh, <laughs> Liberty Hill. Yeah. But yeah, do I know do I know everything I need to know? Yeah, I, I think you're more of an expert in e-bikes than me. <laughs> Tyrone is dope. I met him at a bicycle ride, actually, that I never made a vlog out of because I didn't really talk that much. And it was at nighttime, and it's really hard to make clickbait. It's very hard to make clickbait with nighttime videos, but he's a viewer. And this is one of the great parts about uh, being a semi-successful tuber, is that people message you, hey, love your videos. I got this bike. Come ride it. And I'm like, "Yep. I sure will." Okay, this is a this is nice. This is this is obviously is huge. This feels way closer to a motorcycle. It even feels bigger than the Onyx. Not sure what that noise is. Uh our good buddy Gregory is going to be extremely jealous. This is Greg's like dream bike. He always talks about this thing. See how that van was parked the wrong way? I see that everywhere in Texas. I don't I don't think there's laws on which direction you park on the street. I don't think it matters out here. And then I started to think to myself, why does it matter? Why does it matter anywhere? Look at this. These guys are both parked facing that way, but it's a two-way street. Anyways, back on topic. Yeah, Greg loves... Miss you, buddy. This this is Greg's uh, dream bike. We should maybe... Hey, we should probably FaceTime him. Just to, just to kind of get a cameo of Greg. We're going to find a great spot to, to uh, stop, but... So far, this is a pretty sweet, pretty sweet ride. Wow, it sounds crazy. It sounds like a Judge Dredd bike. What on earth was that noise? What is that? I don't want to break... Okay, that is not me doing anything weird. Alright, 
It's faster than an Onyx. But it cut, wow, it cut power on me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tyrone, I'm not doing anything wild. Jesus. Okay. Dude, are you joking? I went 40 feet with this thing. Oh, turn that on maybe? Okay. It's faster than an Onyx, just don't go that fast. Um, okay, it's back on. Let's put it in two, three. Okay. That was uh, scary. I guess I shouldn't have pushed it to the limits that early or that hard. Um, I would take this off road if it was if uh, if Zion let me borrow this and it wasn't a, a viewer, a loyal viewer's bike. But I can already tell you, I don't think it's much of. I don't think it's going to be a great off-road vehicle uh, especially the lowered version these pedals I would n not even attempt to pedal while going any kind of speed especially into a corner Dude, what's going on down here? Tyrone uh, neglected to mention that there's a crazy noise coming from the motor. Gee, this is some final destination shit about to happen right here. I need to hit up my old roommate, Charles, to see if Greg has used his e-bike since I've, since I moved out months months ago what do you guys think you like triangles are you a fan of a triangle or are you more of a rhombus or a trapezoid type person let me know down in the comments what you think about this uh what do you think about the uh the look of this bike have you seen greg use his e-bike since i moved out lmao no i moved out in april it's december greggy boy you're gonna be in the vlog Greg neighbor, he's not gonna like that. Whoa. Wait, is that a cyber X punk? That's a cyber X punk. They gave you one? Yeah, they gave it to me under one condition. What? That you can't talk shit? No, they said you have to give it to Greg in a video. And then I said, okay. and then I said, okay, but I, so then I text Charles. I said, Charles, has Greg touched his e-bike since I moved out in April? Twice. Twice? He said, LMAO, no. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to move it. You, I bet. You're in the vlog, bro. Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Greg, and he's back, and he's in his bed. <laughs> Man, how did they send you one? No, they didn't. They didn't really. It's it's a viewer. It's a viewer's. He let me borrow it. I'm just making a video with it. I'm not. I, for one, it weighs 200 pounds. I could never even get it in the bus if I wanted to. Oh, really? It's heavy. Yeah, it's heavier than an Onyx, which I didn't think was possible. That's crazy. No, does, it, does it light up all crazy? No, he didn't. He didn't get that option. He just got the the purple. Oh, it's kind of just a base model. No. It's, I mean, he said it was like six grand. Uh, oh, yeah. I actually... <laughs> oh, man, I just saw a video of, on YouTube of 
some guy was like, I just bought this for six grand, and, and then it, it folds over and it, the whole thing explodes. Yeah, you, you saw that on my Instagram. Oh, that was yours? <laughs> yeah, bro. Six grand. She melting. She melting. Your Volkswagen? Yeah, flat. Wait, so Volkswagen, that was... Who created Volkswagen again? Uh, his name was Hitler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Him and the Nazis, I think, started that company. And you say that you like that? You like that car company? I love my car. Yeah. Huh. I was looking into the history books, and supposedly this guy Hitler was pretty bad. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. I guess they, they must be redoing the company or something because I don't even know if Hitler's still the CEO. No, probably not. But, man, he sure did love that Beetle. Man, how is it? The bike or this world? Both. Oh, it's great. It's great out here, man. Uh, you know how everyone hates white people, even white people in L.A.? It's like it's there. There is that out here, but it's like fifty-fifty. It's harder to find, you know. Oh, it's not ninety ninety-eight too. No, no. <laughs> and uh, the crime out here is not as bad because everyone has a gun, so nobody pulls their gun out. Yeah. I heard they shut down another prison. They shut down their third prison in California. We got some new neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did take stuff from me, but I thought I was. Oh. <laughs> you should come back sometime. I might come back around March time. Around March. Maybe we can meet up in Big Bear and have a little holiday. Oh, that'd be sick, yeah. All right, later, buddy. You look great. I love you. Love you too, buddy. Peace. Miss you. Miss you too. Awkward. Nice to see the old friend. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hell or high water brewery out here in um, Liberty Hill. And for those of you that are like, dude, why'd you leave that bike sitting there unlocked? I was sitting right here. I had my eyes on it at all times. So no need for, no need for comments on that. Delicious cowboy burger, only one hair. Only one hair in my fries, so that's actually not that bad. My jacket is whipping me so hard that it hurts. Okay, so what is our initial reaction to the Zion CyberX? Let's start with the good. It is fast. It's fun. Um, the suspension feels fine. We didn't take it anywhere too crazy. It feels much closer to a motorcycle than an e-bike. It's very Onyx-esque. Um, and the design is pers is uh, your own is your own personal preference. What's the word I'm looking for? Subjective. If you like the design, the design is great. It definitely looks different. It's very, it's very much cyber. It's a very, it's got a cyberpunk vibe to it. Obviously. Um, it's heavy. It weighs more than the Onyx. So, if you live in an apartment with stairs or someplace like that, I definitely would not recommend it. Great for if you have a garage or a bottom floor apartment. Range is great. It, uh, you know, it'll get you, it'll get you far and it'll get you there in comfort. And 
there's enough room for at least three people. It, one man, two ladies. Uh, what else? It has a back 4000, which is what the aftermarket Surons have. And obviously we saw that it does have some issues with performance when we pinned it in, in a level five. But it, it's faster than an Onyx. Uh, Tyrone doesn't have the, uh, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't tuned his controller like I did on my Kelly controller on the Onyx. So it could be even faster. If you know what you're doing with the tuning of the controller, so that's something to think about if you really want speed. It's mid drive, not a hub drive, so, but I don't really hear it. It's not loud. It's not loud like a Suron. Definitely a head turner. My arms are just getting torn apart. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Zion Cyber X. I think bikes like this, I think they do serve a purpose. 73.5 volts. There is a market for them, I just don't think it's the average e-biker. It's definitely not street legal. I mean, it has pedals, you probably, you know, you're probably good if you keep it under 28, but no one's doing that. You probably look ridiculous taking this on a, on a bike path. So no bike, no bike path fun with this, I wouldn't say. Motorcycle guys will probably be like, whoa, what is that thing? E-bike guys will probably probably be like, whoa, dude, you can't have that on the bike trail. You can't have that on the bike path. Get that out of here. Cybertruck owners will probably be like, I'll buy that from you right now. Any price, you name it. I don't think, I will say this, I don't think bikes like this are worth the price. I think they're a bit expensive for what they offer. Six grand is, I mean, I don't know the exact price on this, but six grand is high. It's a lot. Something's going on in the in the mid the mid drive area. I would get that looked into. It's performing fine. It's just one of those. It's just one of them noises that you don't you don't want to deal with. Hey, I'm just like you. Fellow Patriot. I don't think this has regen, or if it does, it's not on right now.
cut out on me again. I'm in mode four. Wow, does it come stock with a domino throttle? I've actually never seen a domino throttle. This thing comes stock with a bunch of uh, high-end parts. Now, do I have to shut the battery all the way off, or can I just turn this screen on? Again, you know, he said he put 100 miles on it, and it's already doing wild stuff like this. Oh, there's a fucking truck coming. Okay, well it's back on now. That guy's, ch that guy's, whatever's wrong with him is similar to what's wrong with me. Unless he was like pulling out his phone to take a picture of this future triangle that I'm flying through the world with. Alright guys, I mean, died on me two times. First time, I was in mode 5 and I was pinning it. So I almost give it a pass for that. My Onyx does stuff like that. And the Onyx has a Kelly controller that's locked away in a little cupboard that has no ventilation. So I almost I almost give it a pass for the first one, but I was in mode 4 and I was slowly giving it more and more power. And that's like I don't know, guys. For uh Whatever the price, I'll put it on screen. I don't, I would not want that to happen ever. If you're, if you're spending multiple thousands of dollars on a bike, I want pure performance at all times. I want the torque to be there at all times. I don't want it to act like a Super 73 R series from 2020, Hubgate. Let's, I, people don't forget. People don't forget. That's going to be the vlog, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you like this type of content. Let me know your opinion of the CyberX down below. You already know my opinion. Support a dinosaur. Freaking don't ride a gas bike. I don't know. I don't know. Good enough isn't. Chase your dreams. Get after it. And huge, huge shout out to all my Patreons. Patrons, you guys are amazing. And also, obviously, gigantic shout out to Tyrone, one of our viewers. Thanks for letting me ride your bike. He's also got a Jackrabbit. I could maybe ride with that. Those are cool bikes. Uh, but thank you. Thank you, Tyrone, for letting me borrow your bike. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.